In an effort to streamline battlefield logistics and reduce both procurement and maintenance costs, the U.S. military adopted the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS. This lightweight, wheeled rocket launcher emerged as a derivative of the successful Cold War era M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS. By evolving the M270's proven design into a more mobile and cost-effective platform, HIMARS has become a key asset for the U.S. military and other allied forces, enhancing artillery capabilities with impressive range and precision. The M270 MLRS, which debuted in 1983, was a highly effective tracked system, capable of launching variable warhead munitions up to 40 miles away. The platform combined the M993 carrier vehicle, a derivative of the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, with the M269 Loader Launcher Module, LLM, which held two six-round launchers. These twin launchers could fire all 12 rockets in under 40 seconds, delivering devastating firepower in a short window of time. By the end of its production in 2003, approximately 1,300 units of the M270 were in service, with many delivered to U.S. allies including South Korea, France, and the United Kingdom. The M142 HIMARS retained much of the M270's operational philosophy but introduced significant changes to increase flexibility and reduce the logistical burden of tracked vehicles. The M993 tracked carrier was replaced with a medium tactical vehicle MTV, which is a 6x6 wheeled heavy-duty truck. This switch to a wheeled platform reduced the system's overall weight from 55,000 pounds M270 to 24,000 pounds HIMARS, making the new vehicle lighter, more mobile, and easier to maintain. The M142 carries a six-round launcher module, half the payload of the M270 but with equal lethality. Dimensions of the M142 HIMARS include a length of 23 feet, a width of 10.5 feet, and a height of 10.5 feet, allowing the system to be airlifted by transport aircraft like the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. The wheeled platform grants road speeds of up to 53 miles per hour with an operational range of 300 miles. In comparison, the M270 tracked system offers a higher top speed of 64 miles per hour and a range of 400 miles but requires more complex maintenance and logistical support due to its track design. The HIMARS mobility relies on the medium tactical vehicle MTV, a rugged military truck originally based on the Austrian Stair 12 M18. The MTV forms part of the U.S. Army's family of medium tactical vehicles, FMTVs, and was introduced to replace the aging M35 and M939 truck fleets. The truck features six-wheel drive and is powered by a diesel engine, which can be easily maintained with off-the-shelf components. The forward crew cabin seats the driver, while the rear is dedicated to the rocket launcher system, ensuring HIMARS can deliver firepower quickly and relocate before retaliation. Produced initially by BE Systems Land and Armaments, manufacturing of the MTV platform for HIMARS shifted to the Oshkosh Corporation in 2011. The launcher module and rockets for the system are manufactured by Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control. HIMARS can be equipped with either six 227mm rockets, the same munitions used in the M270, or a single, more powerful MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS. One of the key benefits of HIMARS is its reduced complexity compared to tracked systems. The shift to a wheeled platform allowed for a lighter and more agile vehicle, while still retaining the firepower and range necessary for modern battlefield engagements. However, unlike the armored M270, the M142 HIMARS features only light armor for the crew cabin, focusing on speed and mobility over heavy protection. The use of wheeled carriers also reduces the logistical burden as maintenance and repairs can be carried out with common parts available for military trucks, rather than specialized components needed for tracked vehicles. This makes HIMARS not only more cost-effective but also more deployable in a wider range of environments where infrastructure for tracked vehicles may be limited. The 18th Field Artillery Brigade, Airborne, became the first U.S. unit to receive HIMARS, with trials leading to its official acceptance in 2005. Since then, the system has seen combat in both Iraq and Afghanistan, where it has proven its value in ranged engagements. HIMARS' ability to launch precision-guided munitions from a distance, quickly reposition, and evade counterattacks makes it a versatile asset in the modern battlefield. Currently, the U.S. military operates HIMARS across three Army Fires Brigades, the 17th, 18th, and 214th, as well as in seven units of the Army National Guard. The system is also in service with the 11th and 14th Marine Regiments of the U.S. Marine Corps, demonstrating its adaptability across different branches of the armed forces. Beyond the United States, 
several international operators have adopted the M142 Hamars. Singapore operates 18 units, the United Arab Emirates has procured 20 units, and Jordan maintains a fleet of 12 units. Other nations, including Canada, Qatar, Thailand and the United Kingdom, have expressed interest in the system, though formal procurement has not yet occurred as of 2014. The M142 Himars offers a modern solution to artillery needs by blending the firepower of the M270 with the mobility and cost-effectiveness of a wheeled platform. Its ability to launch precision-guided rockets or missiles from a lightweight, rapidly deployable vehicle has made it a valuable asset in both conventional and unconventional warfare. With its proven combat record and growing list of international operators, Himars continues to be a key player in the evolution of modern artillery systems, providing flexibility, range and lethal precision.